it's time for you to go nowhere because I'm not going anywhere. about the week in review when it comes to the stock market, baby. So I've noticed a trend for this stock market over the last couple weeks now, and you can say that there's definitely some correlation to the Biden-Harris presidency that is starting to make itself a little bit more apparent. It's still too early to tell, but I don't think I'm very far off from suggesting this, and that is Biden and Harris are going to have a much more aggressive, or at least they're going to pay way more attention to climate change and to then companies operating in that space. Hence, one of the trends that I'm seeing in the stock market, and you may be seeing this too, is a lot of the electric vehicle companies or if you're not an electric vehicle, if you're not an EV automaker, maybe you're a supplier in that EV space. Boy, you are having a really good time. It looks like you're going to have a great Thanksgiving based on some of these stocks here that I've been tracking. So first, one of the stocks that I've, that has come across my radar, it's a fairly new one, and the stock symbol is AYRO. Aero, Aero Inc. I think that's how you say it. I, I'm not too sure. Aero Inc. designs and manufactures light duty emissions free electric vehicles for urban and community transport, local delivery, closed campus mobility, recreational, and government use. It offers a three wheeled vehicle for professional and personal use. They have a club car for low-speed logistics and cargo services for campuses, and they also have a 4x4 car. The company was founded in 2017 and is based in Round Rock, Texas. This particular company over the last, again, at least just this week, this five days, has skyrocketed. I mean, it started the week down at the $4 range and has since doubled and it closed out today at a little over $8. So who would have who, who would have thought that this company would be doing as well as it has been doing? And let's see here. How long has this company... I mean, they, they've been around since 2017, but it looks like they've been... I mean, they only started trading earlier this year in May. So AYRO, electric vehicle company, works with a whole bunch of universities and governments. They have a combination of different vehicles that, they've off, that they offer. This stock has just gone through the roof this particular um, week. Another one, you know, this goes to how when we talk now about the electric vehicle market, you have to include, automatically include what's going on in China. China has a few companies that have, again, risen to the top uh, of of the U.S. stock market. As a matter of fact, everyone now talks about NIO, N-I-O is the stock symbol, like they talk about Tesla. It seems like NIO is developing a very hardcore enthusiast base. Xpeng is another one that has had a great week. One particular company that, again, for, well, let's see, has it been just this week? I don't know how you, again, it's a, it's a Chinese company. I don't know exactly how you would pronounce this. Their stock symbol is KXIN, and the name of the company or name of the stock is Kaixin Auto Holdings. Kaixin Auto Holdings operates as a used car dealership in the People's Republic of China. As of December 31st, 2019, the company had 14 dealerships. It also provides financing channels to its customers through its partnership with financial institutions and value-added services to its customers, including insurance, extended warranties, and after-sales services. 
they have had, again, a monster, monster week. Started the week trading right around $3, just a shy under $3. And this one has, again, doubled at the end of this week. Closed at over $6, $6.06. They were founded again in 2015. And they were founded by a Chinese internet company called Renren. Renren is a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. Kikeson focuses on Audis, BMWs, Mercedes, Land Rovers, and Porsches. And since all those luxury automakers are also making a greater, or they're, they're focusing more of their efforts on the EV space, this is one of the reasons that's being speculated on why Kikeson is doing well this week. Now you can't remove the Chinese market. And, and again, maybe you, you never could, right? But a lot of times the Chinese market was just kind of focused on the EV automakers. But here's a good example of how they're starting to evolve in their economies of how it's not just a matter about the automakers, but what are the existing facilities, the existing infrastructure that accommodates the EV space? One of those things being a dealership. And now you have Kikeson that is looking to expand and, well, I shouldn't say they're looking to expand. Their stock this week has seen rocket levels, has seen its highest levels ever. And a lot of that is due to the speculation of the fact that Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Land Rover, and Porsche are getting more into the EV game. And that's going to be a very attractive market. Those are attractive products in the Chinese market. Another company that, again, is in the EV space, not exactly a EV automaker, Blink. Blink Charging Company owns, operates, and provides electric vehicle charging equipment and networked EV charging services in the United States. The company offers residential and commercial EV charging equipment that enable EV drivers to recharge at various location types. It also provides Blink Network, a cloud-based system that operates, maintains, and tracks various Blink charging stations and associated charging data, as well as provides property owners, managers, and parking companies with cloud-based services that enable the remote monitoring and management of EV charging stations and payment processing. Blink had a earnings call this week that I was on, and they missed their earnings. At that time, Blink was trading right in the, ooh, it was, it was in the $10, $11 range, I think somewhere around there. And they missed their earnings. The stock did nothing the, the following day. But over the last two days, and specifically today, again, this was, I think, on Tuesday, I believe, actually. On Tuesday, they reported earnings. And the stock was dancing, looks like right around the $13 mark. Nothing really happened. And then by the end of this week, it closed out at $22.67. What? Blink? Charging company? Had another huge monster week? One of the things that their, I think it was their CEO that was on the call talking about, you know, their quote unquote forward looking statement was that Blink is just in a good position to not only own the chargers, but they own the infrastructure, the network by which all of the data gets collected. Now, it sounded great. And to be honest with you, I'll be, I will fully admit this. I'm just not aware of how other charging stations work. I'll look that up. I'll report back to you on that. However, Blink, charging company, Monster Week, started the week hovering at about $10. They had their earnings report. That shot up a little bit to about $13 and ended the week at $22. Hot damn. All right, so those are the three stocks that looks like just had great monster weeks. And again, these aren't expensive stocks anyhow. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that was some of the activity going on in the stock market as it specifically relates to the EV space. Again, I, 
I, I never really intended to start talking about a lot of these EV vehicles and, and companies, but there's definitely a correlation between the Biden-Harris presidency and a lot of these companies that are seeing some very record high weeks. Thanks for tuning in to this week of Wisco Weekly and the Friday Rundown. I will be back again next week. It might be a slower week going on in the stock market, obviously, but have a happy Thanksgiving. Be safe. Take care of your parents. Eat some good food. Enjoy life. Because you know what? You might not see 2021. Thanks, guys. Hey, listeners, have a listen to my assistant, Fiona, and all the information contained in this particular episode, especially as it relates to investing. Thanks. Wisco Weekly is providing this information for educational purposes only. We are not providing legal, accounting, or financial advisory services, and this is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell any stocks, options, or other financial instruments or investments. Examples that address specific assets, stocks, options, or other financial instrument transactions are for illustrative purposes only and may not represent specific trades or transactions that we have conducted. In fact, we may use examples that are different or the opposite of transactions we have conducted or positions we hold. This site and any information or training therein is also not intended as a solicitation for any future relationship, business or otherwise between the members or participants and the moderators. No express or implied warranties are being made with respect to these services and products. All investing and trading in the securities market involves risk. Any decisions to place trades in the financial markets, including trading in stock or options or other financial instruments, is a personal decision that should only be made after thorough research, including a personal risk and financial assessment, and the engagement of professional assistance to the extent you believe necessary.